just sympathize how you Does every time on the steady line but you What's going on, DSG? It's your boy, Donna Bradley, back at y'all with another video. And today we've got To Be Beautiful, Idol Chica, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Beach, Ruin Animation, GS's, GHS's Animation. Now, we be, we've been over here for a, a little second, here and there, here and there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, honestly, I don't, even really, I, don't, I don't even really show out crazy for these, but like, I just think that it's a really amazing job for what they do on here like the different um animation styles how they go about it like the storylines that they attach to them mm. sorry man thirsty but yeah <clears throat> just the way that it gets done over here and like the, the the musical numbers and it's just be a real real whole experience and like how they will like do a bunch of clips and then put them together at some point or even if it's a bunch of random stuff like i just think they really really annihilate it when it comes to the uh, animation of things and even uh like i said I, uh, while getting this together like a small little bit of it played and i already saw how amazing like production wise this is about to be so like i'm ready for it man be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there social media we need that any further we don't three sorry two one click look at that man uh, what's his problem Dang. Tell me just what throwing shoes and bottles? Was that a That was a whole shoe. And that was a but yo, this man got some mad issues. You know what I'm saying? It's still daytime. They just playing out in front of the stoop. You know what I'm saying? In front of the steps. This man launching boots and bottles. Like, this is a definitely an internal problem. Like, this guy's just not happy with life in general and he he needs to seek some psychiatric help like immediately like dang like they just chilling my man turn back on straight demon time he <laughs> said we can do this See, like this is cool i think like the the the, the aspect the area the route that they go you know what i'm saying because you all know what five nights of freddy is it's creepy da, 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 the animatronics take people turn them into animatron that whole thing but like it's like they give them like little different storylines or somehow like integrate some kind of different storyline into their own thing you know what i'm saying and i think I, I think they do a real good job with it you know what i'm saying this one playing in the the aspect of you know them still playing their instruments and stuff like that that's still who they are as animatronics but taking that aspect putting it out here into like i want to say a, a, a real world ish type deal you know what i'm saying i'm nervous come on you got this okay yeah okay so yeah to to be pretty so all right and like with this one it's yeah five nights at freddy's but honestly it looks like it's speaking to a uh bigger issue you know what i'm saying a societal issue you know what i'm saying with how people feel about their body and body shaming and how people are moving and things like that you know what i'm saying and how that could be real messed up and how it can mess with your mental emotional state you know what i'm saying especially if you like trying to do something do something and those are kind of the things that you would say in a sense are like holding you back so like yeah you know what i mean so even when you could take something like this and put like a real message behind it like i i i get i i mess with it i, I get what's going on now I, I think this thing has still has a whole lot of room to turn sour and we still get you know homicidal chicken lady but um we're gonna see how it moves from the homie okay so I, I think the general is like maybe girl went a little overboard with how she prepped but um uh people are just kind of getting on her head about her weight things like that so yeah you can see about what like i said earlier why they have the mentally emotional situation her crying things like that and the disrespect and the one i supposed
that was dope we watched that dope shit here all right now how i felt about that i feel like like i said within it being five nights at freddy's and things like that and we've seen i've seen like several different animations and renditions of five nights at freddy content you know what i'm saying um i don't i think it, what i what i like over here is that they'll take the characters they'll do something completely different while keeping some kind of centralized aspects and i think in this one the centralized aspect was music you know what i'm saying them, them doing the music because you know as animatronics they do the music on the stage they got their little guitars da, 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 da. so that was the part that was incorporated into this as far as what i had seen um but i feel like realistically it touched on um a lot of internal issues i think it touched on a a, a very interesting society <clears throat> excuse me a very interesting societal issue excuse me with like body shaming and how people handle that and how it can hold you back and uh just the way it makes you feel but obviously in a realm you you could still like get past it push past it i know the friend was on some little bit of eh, energy you know what i'm saying You're supposed to have your people's back but even she started to crack but came back and was like hey you know we can do this Da, 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 like come on don't stress don't worry about it which is the area the friend is supposed to be in you know what i'm saying like i said she was cracking she was cracking i didn't like that but uh she came back to be real um and yeah like i said this is i see it more about pushing through those berries you know what i'm saying not being worried about this this that and the third about who's got to say what because at the end of the day there's always going to be somebody who's going to want to say something you got to understand also that these this is a competition that other people are in so they're going to do whatever they can to get you out of your headspace to give themselves a better shot because at the end of the day they're more than likely threatened by you um so i'm interested to see what comes out of uh part two if it's going to be something that uh chica can get past you know what i'm saying and uh move forward and basically show that yo even though y'all think this this and that i can do this this and that so y'all can like go eat it you know what i'm saying and things like that so how this was done and the message that it portrayed i thought was dope and uh obviously animation and production wise they did an amazing job but that's the take be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there social media and i catch y'all next one fam peace